Hey guys, some of you may have bought headphones that support APTX codec, but when you've connected it to your iMac, you realize that your iMac does not support APTX. Like, let me show you. So I've connected my Marshall monitor Bluetooth headphones to my iMac. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna play a video from YouTube. Hold down the option key on my keyboard, click on the Bluetooth icon and scroll down to my headphones settings. So you see here, the active codec is SBC, which is totally not APTX, right? So I'm about to show you, okay, let me just click pause. I'm about to show you the easy way to activate APTX on your iMac, and this method will also work for the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air Apple computers. So to activate APTX, just click on the Applications folder, click on Utilities, and then go into your Terminal menu, okay? So terminal is like your computer's command center, but don't worry, nothing that you are about to do will screw up your computer in any way. All you have to do is just to enter these commands word for word, and remember it's, you gotta take note of the upper casing and lower casing as well. Yeah, it's gotta be exact, okay? So I'm gonna just show you the command on screen and type in at the same time. Okay, and then click enter and then enter your password when prompted, your computer's password. So the following commands will appear. As you can see, I have enable AAC codec equals to zero. Enable aptx codec equals to zero. Zero means it is disabled. Okay, so what you want to do is to turn this zero into a one. So when that happens, aptx codec is enabled. And to do that, just type in the following command. And do take note of the upper and lower cases. Minus bool true, okay, true means activate, okay? So now aptx should be activated as already. Uh, you can check back on its status by typing the very first command that we learned earlier, which is a uh, read blue. Okay, here as you can see, enable aptx codec equals to one, which means that it is activated. So let's check that by going back into our Bluetooth settings. Hold down alternate, click on the Bluetooth icon, scroll down to your headphones. Okay, let's play something first before we do that. So you see it's still SVC, right? This means that you need to disconnect your headphones first. Pause the video and then reconnect the headphones. Reconnect. Here. So now APTX codec is activated. So guys, the same method can also be used to activate AAC codec. Just enter terminal again and type in the following commands. Audio D, enable AAC codec. Okay, let's check on his status. Oops, typo. Oops, let me try that again. There, so both AAC codec and APTX codec is enabled now. So I find that at this moment, it is redundant to activate AAC. So I'm just gonna deactivate it and I'm gonna deactivate it by keying in the following command.
So instead of true, you type in false. So let's check on the settings again. Yep, so AC codec is now deactivated. So this is how you deactivate a codec. So now I've shown you how to activate and even deactivate an audio codec on your Apple computer. Pretty cool, right? Thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions at all, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And of course, if you like this video, like it, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Loud and Wireless for the latest reviews and other content that is going to be so interesting, okay? So thank you very much and see you next time.